Howdy. Today I'm going to show you how to get Windows VST instruments uh, to load and uh, play on a Mac. On uh, I guess I'm going to show on Ableton Live, but from what I understand this is possible in any DAW. I found this solution uh, by searching uh, on Google and I found this uh, blog post by this guy who has made a uh, wineskin sort of version um, using Energy XT as a uh, to be able to actually load the VSTs into uh, some sort of like a wrapper. Uh, so the blog post details all of the steps, uh, and it took me about maybe twenty or thirty minutes to figure this out. But it was a little confusing going through it for the first time. So I'm going to just hopefully make this as quick as possible and easy to understand. Uh, in order to get VST instruments to work, you only need two pieces of software, and that is PlugWire and AudioPort Universal. Uh, I figured this out by reading this section down towards the bottom, Win VST Instruments. So once you download those two pieces of software, uh, you want to install PlugWire and then AudioPort. And then uh, let's open up PlugWire. And what we want to do is install software and choose the executable. And we're looking for this audio port host PC trial. So I'm going to choose that. And just to use the defaults uh, locations that it's asking for. And then I'm going to go ahead and install Harmer. So I bought Harmer, and uh, it's from this company called ImageLine. And they have a reg key system for um, basically copy uh, copyright production. So I need to install that as well. And the way to do that is to, this is ready. Uh, go to Advanced Tools, Registry Editor, and then Import Registry File. I want to go and find that file on my desktop. And that's loaded now. And now we should be pretty much ready to go. AudioPort is, uh, I guess it's trial software for 30 days for free. Uh, so it has a, a, a username and a key. So let's go ahead and uh, load PlugWire and we'll add in the username and key. So it is trial and the key. input. Okay, so in order to get the plugin um, to communicate between live and uh, this audio port application, you need to open up audio MIDI setup, and then go to the MIDI window, double click on IAC driver, make sure that it's online, and then add a port. It takes a couple seconds for it to, to work. Uh, the default name that it gives us is fine. Quit out of that. And then let's open up Ableton. And the first thing is that in the MIDI preferences, you need to enable the output for the IAC driver. <clears throat> and then I'm going to get rid of everything but except for one MIDI track. And I'm going to find the external instrument <clears throat> and set its MIDI output to IAC driver. And what you want to do for this track, for the MIDI in, is you want to set this to either a computer keyboard or a MIDI controller. You don't want to leave it on all ends or you're going to get this gnarly MIDI feedback uh, loop. Uh, now let's add an instance of the audio port plugin. 
and you want to add audio port to a track and change the IP address to 127.0.0.1 and then press connect. Let's go over to Plugwire. Now that this is oops, now that this is connected, we can right click and choose Energy XT and then connect the first two uh, outputs to the audio outputs to send audio to Ableton Live. Then right click on Energy XT and choose the IAC bus. This is how you're getting MIDI in. Then double click and uh, you can install or uh, instantiate an instance of Harmer. If I double click on it, there we go. Uh, what's uh, great is that I can send MIDI to this if I go over to Live. Uh, it's working fine. What's not great is that the menus are all uh, sort of missing the font. I did a little digging and I'm actually going to close Plugwire. Uh, Plugwire. And I did a little digging and ImageLine uses a font called Arial to, uh, for all of their menus. And you can download it from uh, this fontsupply.com. So there's a download button. Once you have that, uh, you need to install it into a certain folder in Plugwire. So Plugwire is, is essentially a um, Wine um, implementation of uh, Windows. So you can either choose Show Package Contents on the Plugwire application itself. Another way to get there is by clicking on the Documents folder and then checking out this path. Uh, so you can see that this is the application and then these are contents inside. Go to Drive C, Windows, Fonts, and then copy Arial in there. And then let's open up Plugwire again. Then right click, where's my mouse? Uh, right click, Oop. when you close Plugwire you actually have to reconnect it again. So let's right click, add energy XT, make sure that the IAC bus is connected, add the ports, add Harmer, and now all of the menus will show up correctly. So one thing I wanted to do is, uh, it's great to be able to load VST instruments, but it's even better if you can automate them. And uh, an easy way I found to do this is to, let's make a MIDI clip here and add in a note. Oops, it's a little low. Uh, add in a note. Um, so the way to do this is to use MIDI CCs. And uh, uh, one easy solution I found was to use, uh, if you have Max for Live, that is, uh, is to use this uh, device called Control Change 8. And what this allows you to do is it has eight knobs that have uh, corresponding MIDI CCs. So you can treat these uh, just as you would just regular automation if you had a native like OSX uh, plugin. So if I go over to uh, Harmer and right click on a knob and say MIDI learn and then go over here and, and use, uh, let's say, number one for modulation, it's actually controlling, let's see if I can have this, show at the same time. Uh, it is controlling now the, the knob, so I can draw in automation, which is really awesome. Now this is essentially using a Windows VST in a Mac environment, so I can draw in little, uh, you know, uh, curves and... and everything works as expected. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, there was one other thing I was going to mention. Um, so one of the things about Harmer is I wanted to use the image synthesis capabilities. And what's cool about uh, this implementation is that you can still do that. You still have access to your hard drive and your sample library. So it's, uh, yeah, pretty slick. I hope that helps. If anybody has questions, just leave comments below. Take care.